Good evening. A powerful New Mexico state senator investigated for sexual harassment will not face any discipline. KRQE News 13 obtained details in the case showing there was probable cause found by the investigator. News 13's Ariana Kraft joins us with those findings. Democratic Senator Daniel Ivy Soto tells me the investigation is closed, he respects the process, and he's ready to move on. Lobbyist Mariana Anaya accused a prominent Democratic senator in Albuquerque, Daniel Ivy Soto, of sexually harassing her. She filed a formal complaint this year, sparking an investigation by a private attorney, accusing Ivy Soto of groping her in 2015. Then, this year at a business dinner, she says he asked what she was wearing as she shared a story about a home renovation project and later screamed at her in the hallway of the state capitol. My attorney got a letter from uh, the legislative council indicating that uh, the committee having failed to find probable cause that the matter was going to be uh, postponed indefinitely and no further action would be taken on the case. Without specifically addressing the allegations, Senator Ivy Soto says today he's focused on moving forward. The findings of his investigation went to a legislative subcommittee who decided not to move the case forward. There are procedures put in place to protect not only the public, but also the institution, as well as individual legislators. People need to respect that process, as I've respected that process all the way through. However, KRQE obtained the private attorney's report showing the investigator found probable cause for sexual harassment in at least two of Anaya's complaints. It also lists accusations from Senator Katie Duhigg saying Ivy Soto pinned her on a couch in 2019. The report says Senator Mimi Stewart claims Ivy Soto created a hostile work environment. It's, it's the special counsel's report, which is mm -hmm. a confidential report. It, it, it contained uh, the special counsel's recommendations to the committee, but the committee is the one that actually makes the decision. The senator claims there were factual errors in that confidential report, and the committee received additional information. When I read that report, my comment uh, was, if, if all I saw was that report, I would find probable cause. But the fact is, the committee had more information before them than just that report. Despite calls for his resignation, the senator says he's not going anywhere. And I'm committed uh, to working fairly, uh, with anybody else who wants to better the state of New Mexico, uh, whether they've previously spoken out against me, whether they've previously spoken out for me, I will be fair regardless. Ivy Soto is blaming fellow Democratic Senator Mimi Stewart for the leaked report saying he called the FBI yesterday to report extortion. We reached out to Senator Stewart to ask about that, but did not hear back. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Ariana. Ivy Soto's accuser filed a lawsuit yesterday saying the confidentiality rules in this case restrict her right to free speech since she is not allowed to discuss the case publicly. The results of the investigation have not been made public by the legislature.